right near the end of the 19th century came a man named Pavlov in his laboratory. The dog at his side was his subject of note, and he changed the world, this man in the lab coat. Classical conditioning, he paired every stimulus But Watson tried it out with disastrous results Lashley took it further with equipotentiality Where simple tasks could be relearned after brain injury Then the neo-behaviorists refined his theory And empirical science became the heart of psychology all added layers of drives and tendencies So Tolman simplified it with reward expectancies Less mechanistic, more human, thank you Edward Tolman Then Maurer added fear and hope to Pavlov's recipe This influenced Seligman, who I'll discuss momentarily But Skinner came around on a new behavior boat Give a run for his money to the man in the lab coat Skinner said that Pavlov did not go far enough So he built on Hull, Tolman, and Maurer's work Added reinforcement and operant conditioning Now their work stands together in perpetuity Positive psychology came from Seligman Then for extra measure, DBT from Lenahan Bandura's social learning and self-efficacy Back explored the cognitive and then came CBT. Now the two are well known to every scientist, to every student clinician and psychologist. Many lives have changed in places near and remote, forever in the debt of the man in the lab coat.